in terms of planning permission, um, I decided when we started that I wasn't I wasn't going to bother trying to get planning permission. Um, it took a while to convince my dad that that, that, that was the way to go, but um, we kind of knew we didn't have much of a chance really, I think, uh, to to go ahead and try and get it. So, and also I've lived here all my life and built tree houses around here and everything and it just kind of seems like a bigger version of that so I really didn't even cross my mind to be honest um, so yeah we just started and, and managed to get a, well managed to pretty much finish the building after about a year and a bit and then yeah the plan has rocked up um, but quite impressed by it uh, but at the same time they've got a job to do it seems very mad, you know, it's, it, we're in a place that no one can see, it's not affecting anyone. It's kind of, I don't know, I'd, I hope that it's quite quite a beautiful building. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think more people should be allowed to do it. It's kind of, keep the young people in, in Wales and things, you know, well, not just Wales, all over, you know. If you need, you need low-cost housing, it's cheap, it's, you know, people can do it themselves. But yeah, I think this, that's part of part of their worry. But, <laughs> you know, but yeah, I think I think definitely it needs there needs to be a change. People need to be able to just get on with it, and, and especially you know you can't you can't plan something like this. It just kind of it takes away the creativity. This is inside. Um, yeah, so this is the reciprocal frame roof that we talked about. Um, got cob floor here, which has kind of turned out quite nice. Um, yeah, straw bell walls, fine render on there. Um, so this is the kitchen area. It's kind of open plan generally. Got this ma main kind of circle. Um, yeah, living space. We've got this kind of spiral staircase around the tree, which is kind of just like a chill, chill out area around, up there. Extra sleeping space. Um, and then yeah, come around we've got bathroom in here. That's a bathroom there. Yeah. And then we've got through here, we've got fire there, we've got a big kind of stone stone wall here to hold the heat still warm from the fire again last night. It just kind of Acts as a bit of a radiator, a bit of thermal mass, um, and then we've got behind here another platform. Uh, yeah, a bit of a music area underneath there. I've got, managed to fit my drum kit in, which is nice. And yeah, just another kind of at the moment tap space. <laughs> and then we've got the the main bedroom. And there's a Meg in here changing Eli. <laughs> this is the master bedroom overlooking the pond. That's one of my favourite rooms, I think. It's nice and warm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Eli seems to be very comfortable in it. A very nice, <laughs> quiet environment for a baby to grow up in. Yeah. yeah that's it, really. Skylight up there for. Bit of extra light. Yeah, that's that's that. <laughs>